Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Tonight on Nobody's Show, Evil Can Evil Toys. Before we get into that, jumping over to nobodysplaybook.com, check out what we've got going on over there. Hey everybody, I'm Chad Oak with Nobody Else's Auto. We deal in classic and special interest cars and parts. We have over 1,100 classic cars in our salvage yard, and that's what we do and that's what we love. Thanks for coming by Nobody's Show. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you're new, we're glad to have you here. And this is going to be the show for gearheads. We're going to talk about hot rods, muscle cars, customs, classics, trucks, cab overs. We may even get into some of the newer stuff into the 70s and 80s. We're also going to talk about gas pumps, signs, oil cans, toys, all types of automotive memorabilia. Because here at Nobody's Show, this is your show. We're going to be on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 o'clock. Don't miss it. Now let's get into tonight's episode. Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Tonight we're going to talk about some really cool Evil Knievel toys. What made me think of this is uh, this weekend in Topeka at the Heartland Nationals uh, at the NHRA races, buddy of mine Scott Palmer, his top fuel dragster is going to be done up in Evil Knievel livery. So it looks really cool. They just put the pictures on Facebook tonight. Uh, looks like it's going to be an awesome deal and a great show. They're partnered up with the Evil Knievel Museum in Topeka, Kansas um, to promote the, the museum and, and Evil this weekend. Yeah, if you have not been to the museum in Topeka, Kansas, I highly recommend it. I've been there. It's awesome. There's a lot of great stuff there. So, because that's going on this weekend, you know, watch it on uh, watch it on TV. Watch the races from Topeka this weekend, and check out the Evil Knievel car with, driven by Scott Palmer. Go to the museum if you get anywhere near Topeka. You've got to go to the museum. It's great. Original bikes. They've got one of the original Sky Cycles. All kinds of cool stuff. Original memorabilia. So. We've got tonight a few pieces of my own memorabilia. Evil can Evil toys are great. Evil was, not only was he a great showman, he was a great marketer. And he was one of the first to, he, I mean, he put his picture on anything, if they'd pay him, which, I mean, who wouldn't? He, he got a deal with the Ideal Toy Company, you know, back in the 70s, and uh, he would sell anything. So they come up with all kinds of cool toys. We've got a few of them here, this stuff is all new, so, I guess we can start right here in the middle. This is an original model kit uh, of the Sky Cycle that was designed to jump the Snake River Canyon and due to a mechanical malfunction did not happen. The parachute came out as soon as it launched and it sailed down into the canyon. You know, just it was a nice slow sail down and it was never done again to where it was actually a full successful jump. So we've got an unopened, still sealed in the plastic with the original price tag Sky Cycle model kit. Uh, from the Evil Knievel sky, sky Cycle. So, got that piece. Over here we've got an in the box, this has been opened, Evil Knievel Stunt Cycle, obviously made by the Ideal Toy Company, originally sold at an Alco discount store, but still got part of the original price tag on it. We do have the launcher out here, this is a two piece deal, we had put it together to try it, so that was not, we already had it out of the box. But let's dig into the box and see what we've got here. Check that out. Evil can evil himself, the little doll. Helmet comes off. Even got the EK belt buckle on. So there's the, the doll. This kit here still has the original instructions. It has the original decals. And you can also even order your official Evil Knievel tank top or team jersey. So all that paperwork is still in there. The whole brochure of Evil Knievel toys. They wanted to sell you everything. So they wanted to make sure that you knew everything that was available so that the kids could tell their parents for the next birthday or Christmas of what other Evil toys they wanted. Then, the most important piece, still in its original cardboard stand in the box, is the motorcycle. Obviously supposed to have stickers on it, but they're still here on the pad, never been installed. Uh, this is a really cool piece. Evil would actually sit on the bike, or stand on it, I can't even remember how they did it. I think his feet went in here. As such, it would wind up on this gear here, which corresponded with the gear in the rear tire, sort of a friction drive thing. And you could crank it up, 
and launch it across your living room floor and it would ride a wheelie. So, a cool piece. Super excited to have stuff like this in our collection. This stuff you don't come across very often, especially in the box, all the paperwork, all the real deal. So, one other piece we've got here is the Evil Knievel Stunt Game. Evil races around the track, you perform daredevil stunts, and the most skillful cyclist wins. So, this was a 1974 piece. So, I think it's 45 years old, still in the box. Let's see what we've got in here real quick. We've got a board. Check that out, that thing's colorful. We've got a board with stunt cycles that raced around the track. They, they even had cardboard trophies you could win. Ramps. And here's the little crank mechanism for the stunt cycle. I've never put this together. I've never played with it. I don't know for sure how it does or does not work. But it's a cool piece. And these are great pieces. These are toys from the 70s. It's awesome to find them in the box. It doesn't happen very often anymore. A lot of this stuff was used, used hard, and thrown away. So, my buddy Scott Palmer, this top fuel car, big Evil Knievel fan. He always has been. In fact, if you're on YouTube, if you want to look up Scott Palmer 2012 Mile High Nationals, um, he's on that video. It's about a four minute clip wearing an Evil Knievel t shirt, and that was seven years ago. So, He's pretty much legit when it comes to being an evil fan. If you do watch that video, you might pay attention close. If you look, if you keep your eyes peeled, you may even see me in there a few times. So that, uh, that was a fun time too. But this weekend, watch the NHRA uh, on TV in Topeka if you can't be there. Check out Scott Palmer's page. The car looks great. We're super excited to see how the weekend goes. Love Evil Knievel. Go to the museum. If you're anywhere near Topeka, go to the museum. It's a, it's a must see. They've got his truck, his whole hauler truck in there completely restored. You don't want to miss it. So, a couple more cool toys out of our collection. Thanks for being here tonight. As always, we appreciate you guys stopping by. And don't forget to catch us every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at seven. Thanks for watching, everybody. Mm -hmm.